Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. We're about to head to the airport. We are in Colorado right now after a whole week trip here. And this is gonna be a vlog of completely just getting my life together, getting, not to get, you guys know what I mean. But when you're out of town, it's like, you gotta get your brain straight when you get back in. Um, back home and back in town to like have your meal prep done, have your groceries done. I kinda wanna like ingredient prep and actually like get back to my fun meals. Although I do have another trip in a little over a week that is, Jay's not going, but I'm gonna be going for another week trip, which is craziness, but we're rolling with it. I'm, I'm here for it. So we're gonna make sure we take full advantage of this week and kind of just really get on track as much as we can. I need to do all the things, clean my makeup brushes, get ahead on, out of all things, clean my makeup brushes. I just was doing my makeup, I'm like, yeah, that needs to happen. Um, laundry organization and also just back to like my workouts and just a home vlog ahead of us so welcome to another one i'm sydney if you're new here we had the absolute best time this week this was a really fun week so we spent a lot of time with jay's best friend lucas and his family i'm really close with his wife amanda and their kids were here um they live here so we did all sorts of stuff with them. Jay and I did a lot of stuff, just us two. And then I also met up with my friend Alexandra, which a lot of y'all probably know here on social media as well. Such a sweetheart. And I met her fiance, they get married, I think in like a little over a week, which is so exciting. So that is a little recap on what we've been up to. Headed home, let's head to the airport. Also, we woke up at 4 a.m. this morning, so it's early. I'm still waking up. And I have a really hard time breathing here because of the um, elevation or altitude or whatever. I'm like, I catch myself talking to the vlog and I'm like, I'm actually very out of breath. So I have to guess that's probably what it is. The amount of bags that we brought is absolutely ridiculous, but we actually did wear literally everything, so. Okay, we're back home. I have been home for probably, I don't know, a couple hours now and this is all the stuff I need to put away, clean clothes and whatnot, and we also just got some groceries, so we can do a little bit of a grocery haul. Here's all the stuff we got from both Publix and Sprouts. Here's a little grocery haul. We got, we got some ground turkey, some chicken, some more ground turkey. We've got 99 and then also 93. Some chicken, some black beans, some ginger lemon olipop, some cinnamon, some classic burger sauce. This is what Jay uses on a lot of things. Some balsamic, and then some watermelon hummus, some veggies, some palmini hearts of palm pasta, rice cakes, bananas, arugula, spring mix. And then over here we've got some egg whites, siete almond flour wraps, and then some blueberries, some lemons, some purple sweet potatoes if you've seen uh, Live to 100, that's where we got those and we've been looking for them. So we're having those. Some grapes, some almond butter. This is like my favorite kind of almond butter from Sprouts and then some avocado, cucumber, quinoa. I think that's just about everything. Oh, and some black cherry um, juice that you do with the magnesium and then some of this Olipop. So we're gonna give that a shot. And then some milk and that's everything. The Anine Bang sweatshirt obsession is getting out of hand. I just think that they are like the best sweatshirts ever. I get them normally in medium. Is that what I got this one in? Yeah, size medium to be a little bit oversized. And 
They're just like the best sweatshirts. They really are. They're expensive as heck, but they are so good. Clearly, I love. <laughs> I also got some packages in today um the oil pulling so i got these it's the same brand i got the little packets for oil pulling but it was like really they were really like thick it almost was like coconut oil that was very thick and i just didn't stick to it so i'm gonna try this and you just i think do it kind of like you would mouthwash swish for two minutes try to work up to 10 minutes per use and then it says, always brush your teeth after using pulling oil. Okay. Recommend scraping your tongue too. Okay, I'm gonna give that a shot. And then I also got some PR from CeraVe and they sent me a, what are those called? They're like the really cool little water bottles. Gosh, what the heck are those called? But they sent me one with some new acne foaming wash and then Foreo sent me this facial toning device and also this serum for it. So I'm excited to give that a shot as well. Nothing's better than getting home from a trip and doing an everything shower and you exfoliate, you shave, you wash your hair, feeling so, so much better. Oh, does it feel so nice to be home? I'm gonna do a couple emails and then start winding down for the night. Y'all. This space is just the comfiest thing in the world. We are back to it today, y'all. And look at the cute little turtle. <laughs> Time for a cold plunge. Okay, I'm doing my next bridesmaid box and I am just making sure all of this fits in here while I put this together. But this one is for my friend Mackenzie. I still need to do her little note on the back, but her favorite color is blue and she also is gluten-free. So I got her some gluten-free cookie butter cookies got some hair mask from Saltaire, and then this Summer Fridays jet lag mask, some snail mucin, she loves this stuff. I like forget what that's even for. I've gotten it one time before for myself and never really used it that much. Um, I don't, can't remember if mine was this exact same kind, but this is the kind I know she uses, and it's not blue, but I think it looks okay in there. And then also an MEJ claw clip. Got some of this hand sanitizer, and then these little eye masks blue was really easy to get a lot of cute stuff for so that was one of the easier colors because i had kind of a hard time with like pinks and also one of my bridesmaids is going to be orange so i am going to give this to her hopefully tomorrow i'm going to write her little note and then package it all up i don't really know like if i should have done something other than just tissue paper on the bottom down here but i think that this will look okay super cute i love these boxes from amazon they're so good like even if you're just gonna do like a gift for someone for their birthday they're magnetic and so so nice i'm opening this wonder most powerfully soft by lululemon box i have no clue what's in the box but i have on something from that collection already which is this little crop top and i've worn it a couple times i wore it while we were in colorado as well the softest material freaking ever so i am so excited to see what's in here Whoa, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. What the heck? <gasps> Guys, I have no idea what to even expect. Okay, well this. Wonder most. Okay, so this must show everything that's in here. Wow. Okay. Does this open? all this packaging Ooh, okay scoop neck bra love oh wow 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 look at that bodysuit and then we've got a little turtleneck action and then also the same top that i have on but in this color Okay, I figured I'd show you guys the stuff that I got. So this turtleneck right here, I already had a couple of things that I got in the store the other day while we were in Colorado. Like I got this bodysuit tank top from their collection 
and I actually just got in from them this turtleneck and I am obsessed I'm so weird about turtlenecks I've told you guys I'm weird about turtlenecks but when it's this like lightweight and buttery I I can do this I absolutely can and I threw it on with these pair of nicer Lululemon pants as well y'all I am obsessed with this it is very rare for me to one, have a long sleeve on that I like to keep on and also turtleneck. Nope, never. I don't know the last time I wore a turtleneck. Okay, here's the crew neck long sleeve. A vibe, a vibe. I also don't have a bra on with any of this. I got this little scoop neck, Nulu scoop neck bralette. Could totally wear that under this for sure. This material, oh. Okay, I just put on the bralette on underneath just to see what it would look like. Normally, I think that like bralettes show a little bit too much. No, I think that this looks good. I would totally wear this with this and I feel like you can hardly even see it. Here's the cropped crew neck in the t-shirt that I had, or the, the same t-shirt I just had on, but this one is in a different color. I did end up sizing up to medium on my other ones and this one is a small. It still works, it's just definitely a little bit more snug. Um, so I would say like if you don't like things too tight, I would size up one on the little t-shirt and probably even, no the long sleeve felt fine so I would stick to your true to size on the long sleeve. Totally was not expecting to love this mock neck bodysuit. This is fun, I love this. Super flattering, like cut in the back. And also this color is so much fun. Wow, I love this. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so this one is a size small. I would say if you're bigger chested, probably, probably need a little bit bigger, I would say. Well, maybe not, because it's so stretchy. Wait, y'all, there was not one thing that I did not love, I would say. My favorite, I do love this one. This one's fun, but I feel like the ones that I'm gonna wear the most are probably, obviously, the cropped tee, because I've already been wearing those. Um, but the long sleeve crew, so that would be this one. Probably will wear this the most as like a layering piece. And then probably even the brown bodysuit tank, which that's this one right here. Wow, 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 how exciting. Okay, I also got packages in from one of them is from make which i like their makeup actually i have a couple things from them let's see i've gotten pr from them before and i really liked the stuff that they sent so let's see what it is this time oh it looks like it's like a mascara oh lash and brow serum perfect actually because the reason I thought it was mascara is because I saw this underneath. Lash and brow serum. Count me in because I have been actually using, um, oh, what is it called? What is that kind of lash serum called that you have to get as a prescription? What is that called? Have I told you? I don't know. But regardless, I had to get it through my dermatologist and I really haven't noticed some crazy difference. So I'm excited to try this. Hyper Boost Lash Serum. But I actually know that it's probably because I'm not very consistent with it. So I got like a month's worth and it's been like four months. So I really just haven't been using it every night. I'm gonna give this one a go around now. And also got a package in from I think it's called Fetty, which is cool. I start opening it and it says cute stuff inside. I'm like, I better open this with y'all. Oh my gosh. You're gonna die of this. <laughs> Wait a second. Look what it says. Ride to be. That's so cool. <laughs> I could totally wear these on the bachelorette trip. Oh my gosh, that's actually pretty fun, huh? And then I also have that little gold bracelet that says King on it. Okay, then this is, oh my gosh, wait, this is so sweet. Look at this, towel. Wow. Bride. Wait, that is so fun. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. And then this is Bagu, what is this? Oh, it's like a tote. Thank you for partying with us. <laughs> this is a claw clip. Y'all, this is such a fun package to open. Wait, this looks like an MEJ claw clip, literally. I doubt it is, but it looks like one. How fun. 
I actually was thinking that like one of the nights for the bachelorette trip, it will be like a pink night um, where everyone wears pink and then I wear white. So that would be fun. And also pink bathing suits. Bride, they went all out. We got Jay mid, mid breakfast right now as I'm unboxing this. Oh, wow. This is like such an unexpected fun surprise. Bride. Everything bride. Everything bride. Everything. Is there anything else in here? Wow, there's lots more in here. What the? This is insanity. Okay, so this is a clock tip as well. I'm learning to not use my teeth to open things. I'm getting better. Oh, wow. This is so freaking exciting. Bride. Bride. She's a bride. She's a bride. This is an eye mask. Jay calls this my eye goggles. He calls it eye mask goggles. eye goggles. Put your eye goggles on. <laughs> what a fun surprise this is. Bride eye mask. Cute little eye mask. Wow. How many times can I say wow? I'm just blown away, honestly. This is a thong. <laughs> Bride thong. Oh my. <laughs> Dang, that is a, oh, there's one more thing. This looks like it's a tote. This is so cool. Bride, little tote bag. Y'all, Fetty. So it's from xofetty.com. If you're a bride and you need some stuff for your bachelorette trip, I need to see what else they have, so. That was like such a fun package to open. Got me into such a bridal mood. And then also the lash serum. One other thing that came in a little late and it was for Ty's birthday is this Tyson. I got it made from Etsy and you could like choose which color you wanted to do for each one. And I tried to do more of like boyish colors and blues and greens, a little bit of purple in there. and. I think that it turned out perfectly. It's just gonna be, I'm trying to decide, do I do a belated birthday gift or do I wait for Christmas? What do you think, Jay? Christmas. You think Christmas? Probably. I just get so excited about gifts. But Christmas will be here before you know it. Also, I haven't shown you guys my new phone case. Look how pretty this looks. You can still see the yellow behind it, but it also is just way more fun than my plain clear one. I love it. I actually wish I would have gotten like a white rim, I think, instead of, well, I don't know. I think it looks good. For lunch, I'm doing some veggies right here, and then I'm also doing some of these siete wraps, and then some chicken, and I have some roasted red pepper hummus and some coconut aminos I'm going to put in there as well. My other one got a little bit too crispy, so it's falling apart, but I'm making my next one, and y'all, I already took a couple bites. Actually, so good. I also did some arugula. Look what came in. I'm waiting on my friend Kenzie to get here because I'm gonna give her the bridesmaids proposal. Thank you so much Factor for sponsoring today's YouTube video. We absolutely love Factor meal. So I'm gonna unbox these, show y'all which ones we got in and then put them in the fridge. Probably have one for dinner later since I just finished lunch. Perfect timing. Factor is our go-to when it comes to meal prep because they are fresh and never frozen. So they taste like they are just a good little home-cooked meal. Oh, Ooh, different packaging on a couple of them. We have, let's see, garlic and herb roasted mushrooms, peanut Buddha bowl, and then we have Moroccan spice shredded chicken bowl, Two of those, ooh, I always love their chicken bowls. I feel like that might be a little bit spicy too, so Jay might like that. Oh, that's because this is from Berries. Berries has uh, like teamed up with Factor. Yummy. So they're red. <laughs> and then also another peanut Buddha bowl. So I got two of each this time. And then also some of these, which these are protein shakes. <gasps> Pumpkin spice. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to try these. 18 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber. Pretty dang good. 
And then this one is their cold pressed juices and these are the variety pack. I also love their juices. Okay, here are all the protein shakes. All of them are pumpkin spice. Those are gonna be delicious, I already know it. And then we've got pineapple, turmeric, basil, carrot, orange, ginger, apple, kale, wheatgrass, and apple, beet, ginger. I've actually had this one a couple times and I really like this one. For dinner, I'm doing the Moroccan spice shredded chicken bowl. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave now. Literally the quickest thing ever. You just put it in the microwave for two minutes and then you let it sit and then I think do two minutes again. No, okay, so microwave high for two minutes. If needed, continue to heat in 30 second intervals and then let stand for two minutes. Easy. Oops, sorry. Also, Jay gave me a spray tan, a Tuesday night spray tan. That would be because we weren't here for Thursday. So, normally I do them on Thursday night. Any football on tonight or no? Nope. What you gonna watch? This looks like it's very similar to the chicken bowl that I typically will get. Mm -mm -mm. All right, final product. Oh my gosh, yum. This looks delicious. There's apricot rice, garlic zucchini, red peppers, and then spicy shug sauce. Is that what that is? And then obviously some shredded chicken. There are so many different options from Factor to choose from. I normally do the Calorie Smart option. Jay normally does the Protein Plus option. And we very rarely will agree, agree on different meals, but we always love every single Factor meal that we try. And I actually had my friend over, Kenzie, um, today, and I let her take one with us, or with her when she left um, after being over here with us. And she already texted me, and she's like, it is absolutely ridiculous how good this meal prep is and it is so convenient for like if you're on the run if you live by yourself or if you don't want to like prep meals to bring to the office that's what Jay will typically do if he goes into the office I'm honestly just kind of lazy in the middle of the day and don't feel like stopping and prepping today was like a very rare occasion that I actually made something because we've been out of town so much and I was ready to get home and make some some good home cooked meals but one per day one per day. Obviously, I'll put this in my description box as well, like always, but you can use factor75.com. You can use code SydneyAdams50 for 50% 50 off your first box with factor. I have yet to hear a negative review when you guys have tried out factor. So let me know what you guys think, and I'm gonna sit down, have something to eat, and then I need to rinse off my spray tan because I, well actually I might sleep in this one because it's a one hour express, but I slept in it last time and it did not turn out too crazy dark. So I might even do that this time. Time to eat. Nightly magnesium. I pushed it to the side, I went in there, put a knife to his throat, and tied it down to the pool table. This is the cockles of the market. Don't go to another baby that is right. Don't sell drugs and never cooperate.
Y'all, I'm so shocked by this. You guys might be too. Full body jumpsuit. And I actually love, like I think that this looks so good, surprisingly. Can you guys even see it from here? Um, I actually really like this. I'm so surprised. It's from Vitality and I've been having it just staring at me for a while now and I'm like, I'm not gonna like that on. We're just gonna try it for another day. And I finally put it on. I'm like, let's just, let's just give it a go around. I love, like I actually love it. I just made a Ninja Creamy and I'm about to head out for an appointment. And I'm actually getting my lips touched up. I haven't decided if it's gonna be lip filler or um, Botox right above it, which is like a lip flip. I'm just gonna see what she says. Normally she tells me to just do um, Botox, like a little lip flip because my lips tend to, we're really multitasking as I'm putting everything away. She normally tells me that my lips don't like get much bigger without going outwards. I used to have kind of a lot of lip filler and it made me look ducky. So I honestly don't want to even risk it. So if she says that it's not a good idea, then we're not going to, but it's been so long since I've done lip filler that I think I could use a little bit more voluptuousness and we'll see what she says. Maybe a little bit of a Botox instead to do a little lip flip. Lip flips just don't last that long though. Just as I expected, she told me that we we're just gonna do a lip flip. So we did that and then I also got a little bit of Botox. I actually only ever get like little wrinkles right here. So I got some in those areas, just a little on each side. And then I also just did a lip flip. So no lip filler, but I did really like how the lip flip looked last time. It just didn't last very long. So I told her that and we're going to see how this one goes. But she's like, lip filler just doesn't work on you. You, you were not blessed with big lips and that's just the way it is. And I'm like, okay, we're not going to fight with that. We're not, I'm, I'm going to go with it. We'll do the lip flip. If I have to do a little bit more often, that's fine. And also, I mean, I just, I just hope that it gives me a little bit more of a, honestly, my lips look fine. You guys know. I am not telling you that you guys need to do this by any means at all whatsoever. I just feel a little bit better with a little bit more of like a pouty lip. And I think that it's probably better that I'm doing Botox above, like the little Botox rather than filler. God don't let the world in, and I'm a firing in, and I'm a Oh, dang, y'all missed the part when I knew all the words. I know. Through the party of the... I threw the party of the century, and people came over, no one left sober, and it was all for you. Dude, kind of good. It was all for you. Hey, if you know Rod Wave, send that to Rod Wave, tell Rod Wave to take me on tour. <laughs> We're headed into Nordstrom because we got we're doing a little exchange. swap out from Mr.'s birthday. Feels like it's not too heavy too. Here's the one that we did. Making some lunch right now. Y'all know when I find something I like, we like it. <laughs> Just checking in with y'all because I have not vlogged much today but there has not been much to show y'all because haven't been up to a whole lot other than on my computer and doing a lot of computer work. So I don't think I've even really talked to you guys about where I'm going for my next trip, which I leave on Monday and Jay's not coming to this one. So um, I'm interested to know where you guys think I'm going because I don't even think that I've talked about this at all. So I'm really excited uh, to start packing for that, but I've actually just been rounding up a couple things because Last time for Colorado, I waited until way too late. That will show you guys a hint. We've got bikinis in here. And I want to kind of like round up all the things that I know for sure I want to bring and then make outfits out of it and also try on everything. Because that was actually the key this past time was 
um, trying on things and like things that I would have brought and thought looked so cute together actually didn't and like it was just a small tweak and made the biggest difference but this time I think I'm even going to take pictures of the outfits I have on. I've seen someone else say that's like a really good hack to do um, and it would remind me when I get there like what I planned or what I put together to work. Um, I also want to show you guys, this is the first time I'm showing these at all, a, I guess a little sneak peek at my launch for my YouTube people to see is my merch. Y'all, it's coming together. So this is the um, round right before the ones that are launching. So this, we had just a couple small tweaks that is going to be so good. Like we tweaked a little something. This is I think we did four or five different things that we tweaked to get to this one. So it has been a process. Look at that. A little sun right here. And I cannot wait to launch these. So there are actually a couple different ones. I'm only showing you guys two. And then there's a crew neck. And there's also, I think there's three different t-shirts that we're doing. Yes, three different t-shirts and then a crew neck that we're doing. So here is the other t-shirt. This one's my favorite um, just because it has non-negotiables on the back. So down the back, it says non-negotiables, which this is what I always do for my clients. We always say like, you know, control what you can control, have your non-negotiables and stick to those. And down the side, it says self-care. So it's set your phone down, enjoy the little things, let your body move, fuel your body, create good habits, appreciate the sunrise, radiate happiness, and eliminate self-doubt. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. So we're definitely gonna have to do photos, hopefully this week of it. I think that I wanna do some like, I don't know, on the go type photos for this launch and have them be not like in a photo shoot. Hey Jay, you got your package? Ooh, I'm excited to see. Is, did you already open it? No, I'm excited to see it. Um, so they were rude. Yeah, I don't know if like because they're about the clothes or what they say. The dude, um, I walk in and like there's one guy helping one customer and this other dude is just like at the computer. So I'm like, okay, you know, I guess I'll wait a second. So then, um. I'm just like standing there, I like whip up my phone and like, you know, I'm constantly just kind of checking up to see if he's ready. I look up one time, he's like staring at me, he's like, can I help you? And I'm like, yeah, I'm here to pick up a package and I give him my ID. And then he's doing his thing, he walks over to grab it. I kind of walk over near him like, you know, to kind of yeah, yeah, I can it. take that from you. He then walks back over, sets it on like the scale thing. Um, he's like, can you sign the screen? I sign. And then he's just like, does his clicks. And he's like, you're good to go. Oh my God. And then just like made me lean over, pick the package up. And I just like looked at him just like. Oh my gracious. Sometimes those people, you can just tell that they're not having a day. Um, But yeah, I think we're going to do photos. Oh, this one, you can see that the SA is down here. I think that that was one of the, okay, so they did do it on this one as well because that was one of the tweaks that we did is adding this right here. So this one, we didn't have any changes to make to it. And I just think it's so perfect that it says self-care down the back. And I think that I've really been leaning into a lot more self-care and really just all of these different non-negotiables that I kind of preach to my clients and also try and uh, show you guys on my social media and just like, taking care of yourself and fueling your body and honestly just radiating sunshine. Like Jay was just saying for the story at the UPS store, like you want people to walk away from you and be like, wow, that was a really good experience. And like, that was a really good encounter and whatnot. This one says create good habits. It has my logo on the front, which if you have never, I don't even know if I've explained how we did like my rebranding and everything, but this is supposed to be a heart right here because or it is a heart for S and A because I love what I do 
and I love taking care of honestly also represents like health your heart and health um, but I love what I do as a fitness coach and also just social media in general because instead of being all Sydney Adams fitness I did Sydney Adams because rather than it just being my fitness I feel like it, my social media is so much more than that and also just like my brand in general and then also having the little sunshine you guys know I love my sunrises and also just that it should remind people like oh we can be sunshine in other people's lives and we can be sunshine humans so i would say obviously i'll give more information when we take the photos also this is where we fold clothes so it's kind of crazy right here i'll give more information once we're um have it up on the website and everything but it's going to be here soon i just haven't even talked to you guys about it all so oh my gosh i was explaining the logo Am I okay? Um, this is a heart because I love what I do and health. And then this is supposed to look like an infinity sign to make it into a lifestyle that is sustainable and that you can have it forever, you know, infinity. And then obviously Sydney Adams. And it's supposed to be a logo or the font is supposed to be kind of like tranquil and calm type vibe and honestly i just think it looks really cute that's that's what i love about it so much i've been wearing a large or typically a large a medium if i don't want it to be too oversized but this is a large right here so i'm totally going to tell people to size up some on it and my other one's in the wash right now my peach one but they're really pretty colors so i'll show you guys more i think that we're gonna probably try and take photos maybe Friday or Friday or Saturday or something um, to have official photos because originally I was going to do, you guys know how I did like my website photos in a, like it's like a white backdrop and stuff and at first I wanted to do that but I was like I wanted to be more just authentic and like on the go and just loungewear looking rather than like a whole photo shoot type vibe. Um, but yeah, I was excited to show you guys those while I was putting away my laundry. I'm like, I can show you. And also, I'm bringing these on my trip. So I'm setting these over here even though I need to take the photos this week just to remind me after I wash and dry them, I need to put them back in this pile. That's the worst when you're washing something for a trip and then you forget to <laughs> add it to the stack of clothes and pack it. Jay's trying on his Vitality package right now, so we figured we'd give you a little runway. Oh, I love that. That looks so good. 12 out of 10. No, really though. That color looks great on you too. Here are the shorts. Well, these look great on you. So do you always do the five inch? Is that what it is? Yeah, five inch, extra large. Fit good around the waist. Those look great. Thank you. The Uggs, the matching Uggs for me. Okay, here's a little sweat set moment. Sweat set. Perfect, green oh, also yeah. looks great on you. The sweat pants. Okay, here's the whole sweat suit. <laughs> green, these looks feel so, so good. So, so mine good. is a short set with that. It's a jacket and a short set. But Thanks I like, so yeah, I know, I'm saying, well, I don't have the green one, but I have the purplish one, so we could match that one. Yeah, these are really I nice. like, that looks really nice. Uh, I like. What you think about those? They're comfy. So the one thing about Vitality, I usually hate the uh, lin linen, what's it called? Liner. Liner, sorry. The liner. <laughs> <laughs> the liner, 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 but... Uh, and the reason being is like sometimes it's either too loose or too tight. But with Vitality, I mean, it's like just right. There's no, like they don't ride up and they're not squeezing my leg. Perfect. I always love a brown fit, so. A brief fit. Brief fit. Brief fit. It's a brief fit. Brow fit. Like a brisket. Okay. <laughs> Starting to be hungry just from your outfit. Okay, this looks cute, and you have some shorts with that? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, here are the shorts. It's a video. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube fam, my fiance's a little bit of a, I almost called you my boyfriend. Better, chill. <laughs> Better act right. Better act right. Looks good. My conspiracy. I can, but I'm not. No, we don't want that. <laughs> so, 
This is my favorite. Sun coming out is night time. So pretty. Yeah, <laughs> with the light Thanks. One Thank more thing. You. One more. I'm with, I'm with. Can I get a side of spicy mayo too? Thank you. How funny that it's a blue Maybe Christmas it's tree <laughs> and then mine's flowers. <laughs> and then yours are flowers too. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a little, what is this in here? Oh, just a little, it's like a little, okay. And I have a lobster <laughs> in the wasabi. <laughs> And the main lobster. With like, bugs that move. Okay. Ooh. Oh. That might have Wow. Okay. Hi, guys. Update. Look who I'm with. <laughs> the last 25 times that we've been together. Look at the light. It's crazy on oh, your wow. face. But, oh, wow. Um, the last many times that we've been together, I haven't even vlogged at all. But we just got sushi. That was kind of a last Good. second decision to yeah. go. It was like breakfast or sushi. We'll do sushi. Um, oh yeah, it might be. I need to do that. There we go. Oh yeah. Um, but we are now headed. Tell them. Tell them where we're headed. Give them the rundown on what we were gonna do today. Uh. <laughs> and if you're my hairstylist or Shelby's other hairstylist, turn off the camera or turn <laughs> off the computer. <laughs> uh yeah. So I am very sporadic with my hair. I'll just like put some scissors to it or have Cindy color it or cut it. Like, Kitchen scissors is what we like, should say. Yeah, nothing is too extreme for my hair. So figured I'm gonna have her help me go blonde. Uh, I kind of chickened out last second, which I never do. I never chicken no, out. No, so I was very so surprised. Unlucky. Yeah, I am. So I don't know. We'll see if I change my mind over the next. I've couple been weeks. waking up with anxiety over this. I was watching. <laughs> like days worth of YouTube videos on how to do it and uh, I, I just yeah. I mean I know like people that do it there, there's all kinds of school and everything that goes into it so I didn't really trust us to do the right yeah. color combo with toning and everything where I think we would have been fine with that out. part but you said like the smudge root part yeah like it would be so much upkeep even if we did get the right color it would be like two seconds and then you would have like grow out probably because right. you don't want like a dirty dirty blonde hair right no i wanted because like it a, turns like out like kind of brassy or blonde. Yeah. yeah like ashy tones yeah I guess. so yeah, yeah i just was like mm, maybe i'll give it more than a day's thought <laughs> which you've never really had that blonde of hair have you never. but you've gotten like recently well when was that it was back when in alabama still when you had that like almost blonde hair Oh, it was like yeah. the balayage. Type yeah, thing. just on the bottom. Right, yeah, right. that was probably the lightest mm -hmm. I've ever seen it. And yeah. whatnot. She's the queen of box dyeing, though. She has done it, which you don't have any color on your hair now, right? No, I all my box dye from the previous years was chopped off. But you got your hair done last time, right? Oh, professionally. This is my natural color, yeah. but it was like professionally colored and just chopped everything. You always want what you can't have though because yeah. I literally was like I want to go darker because every year my hair gets like that is actually pretty dark. Yeah. Like my hair keeps getting as people always say I'm a natural really blonde. When I was younger I had such blonde hair and then they're like brunette at this point <laughs> because my hair really was white blonde but right. it's hard to keep up with and a lot of maintenance it is and also it's like sitting there for how long like last time you got your hair done it was actually an all-day affair it was like seven hours yeah that's and that's without like extensions or anything yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so time. moral of the story we're going to sally's to return everything for now for now for now until we figure out what's the next yeah. move and whatnot but i think she's had her hair cut twice from at home haircuts or more three times Mom's better at it though than we did. Like I like you and I both took like scissors from like house scissors. One hundred percent, probably dull house scissors. No, <laughs> bad scissors. It and it was like, looking a little. Which yeah, I, yeah that's which I love recent. your hair that length you right do. now. It's literally like scissors. I didn't even. Look. You didn't ever go get it like no. Wow. These are like straight like house scissors. But mom actually used the nice hair scissors and did a little more. You have to straighten your hair to look like that. Um, like that roller thing. Wow. That, Air, what's the thing called? It rolls it out. Mm, uh, like airbrush. Like Revlon, thing. Like yeah, yeah, brush yeah, or whatever. Right. Yeah, because I I think my hair is like too heavy that it won't get that like cute little curl or whatever. Fluffy fluff. Yeah, but if if I try and go short, we know how that goes. So <laughs> this is the shortest. This already feels short. <laughs> We're headed to Sally's. Okay, it's a little bit later, and I'm going to end off this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed the last couple days in my life, and I think my next vlog will definitely be like a pack with me to get ready for my trip. So I'm so excited for, honestly, the next few weeks 
uh, the next week and a half or so, there's going to be tons of content. So uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I always forget to say that. And thanks so much for watching. I love y'all. I adore y'all. And I'll see y'all next time.